Learn oil field stuff. Hey there. Welcome back to Learn Oil Field Stuff. The ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the circulation system of oil and gas drilling, which is one of the most important systems on a drilling rig. The circulation system is responsible for pumping the drilling fluid, also known as mud, down the drill string, through the bit, and back to the surface. The drilling fluid has many functions, such as Carrying cuttings to surface. Cleaning, cooling, and lubricating the bit. Stabilizing the wellbore. And controlling formation pressure. The circulation system consists of several components, such as mud pits, mud pumps, standpipe, Kelly hose, swivel, Kelly, drill pipe, bit, annulus, flow line, shale shakers, descender, desilter, degasser, and mud tanks. Let's take a look at each of them in more detail. The mud pits are large steel tanks that hold the drilling fluid. They can range in capacity from a few hundred barrels to several thousand barrels depending on the design of the drilling fluid and the size of the rig. The mud pits are where the drilling fluid is stored, mixed, and conditioned before being pumped downhole. The mud pumps are high pressure, high volume positive displacement pumps that provide the circulating power for the entire system. They can handle pressure up to 7,500 psi and output horsepower depending on the flow rate and pump pressure. The mud pumps suck the drilling fluid from the mud pits through the suction line and pump it out through the discharge line to the standpipe. The standpipe is a vertical pipe that transports the drilling fluid from the mud pumps to the Kelly hose. It is typically 40 feet long and mounted near one of the supporting legs of the derrick. The Kelly hose is a flexible high-pressure hose that connects the top of the standpipe with a gooseneck on the swivel. The Kelly hose allows for flexibility and movement of the swivel during drilling operations. The swivel is a device that allows fluid passage while rotating and supporting string weight. It is part of the traveling equipment on the rig and it connects to the Kelly through a threaded connection. The Kelly is a long square or hexagonal pipe that transfers rotary motion from the rotary table to the drill string. It also allows for vertical movement of the drill string during tripping operations. The drill pipe is a series of steel pipes that make up the drill string. It connects to the Kelly at one end and to the bit at the other end. The drill pipe provides weight on bit, torque transmission, and fluid passage. The bit is a tool that cuts through rock formations at the bottom of the hole. It has three or more cone-shaped cutters that rotate and crush or shear rock as they contact it. The bit also has three small nozzles that divert fluid flow to provide maximum hydraulic impact and hole cleaning capability. The annulus is the space between the drill pipe and the wellbore wall. It is where the drilling fluid returns from the bit to the surface carrying cuttings and other solids. The flow line is a pipe that connects the annulus with the shale shakers. It is where the drilling fluid exits from the wellbore at surface. The shale shakers are vibrating screens that filter out large solids from the drilling fluid. They are usually arranged in series with different mesh sizes to separate different sizes of cuttings. The desonder and desilter are hydrocyclones that remove finer solids from the drilling fluid using centrifugal force. They are usually installed after the shale shakers in parallel or series configuration. 
The degasser is a device that removes any gas entrained in the drilling fluid using vacuum or venturi effect. It is usually installed after or before the desonder and desilter, depending on its type. The mud tanks are steel tanks that store clean drilling fluid after it passes through all solids control equipment. They are also where chemicals or materials are added to adjust or maintain desired properties of the drilling fluid. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new about the circulation system of oil and gas drilling. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more drilling related content. Questions? Do you have any questions about drilling? Leave them in the comments section below and we will try to answer them. Until then, stay curious and keep drilling.